Yes, you heard that right. I'm going to shave my eyebrows. <laughs> Hi, I'm Maxwell Lascar. By day, I am the entertainment director of Cosmopolitan, and by night, I'm Dot DeVille. I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup using exclusively celebrity-owned makeup brands, which means this, my usual makeup kit, is of no use to me. We are going to be starting with skincare all the way to makeup removal. This should be interesting. Drag requires a lot of cakey, heavy costume makeup. And a lot of what we're using today is your, uh, quote, everyday makeup. So I'm a little nervous. So the first product that we're using today is not actually makeup related at all. It's this robe by Skims by Kim Kardashian. Um, it's the cozy knit robe in the color Onyx. It is so comfy. And I love that we're starting the video with a former Cosmo cover girl. We have a lot of products in the lineup that are owned by people who Cosmo has featured on the cover before, so A plus. I love this robe. The second product is also not makeup related, but it is made by a makeup guru, and that is the Forever Mood Caked Up Candle by Jackie Ina. Smells so delicious, it's like birthday cake. I thought it was appropriate because caked up, we're about to cake some makeup on, and I just wanna like set the mood. 10 out of 10. So before I get into the third product, I'm gonna get super vulnerable with you guys and shave my eyebrows. Yes, you heard that right, I'm going to shave my eyebrows. <laughs> I don't think that we're gonna get an honest read on the performance of some of these makeup items if I'm not using them the way they were intended to be used. So, let's get into it. Ooh. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, bye babies. Thankfully I'm married. Imagine, oh my God, no one would wanna hook up with me. The things we do for beauty. Oh, did I cut myself? I cut myself. <laughs> it's okay. We're all human. Um, we realized that the fire alarm is right above us, so we're actually gonna have to blow this out even though it smells delicious. Thank you, Jackie. Let's get into our third product, which is the Goop Glow Dietary Supplement by Gwyneth Paltrow. It just says, mix with water, drink as part of your healthy morning skin ritual for glowing skin. Easy, let's do that. Science, ASMR. So refreshing. I actually don't love this, but I feel my skin glowing already. Thanks, Goop. Product number four, Ella Luz Natural Deodorant by Camila Coelho. Natural deodorant scares me. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm a man. When I get into drag, I need to make sure I don't smell bad. Oh, this smells good. But I've learned that a lot of natural deodorants need multiple applications, and once I'm in drag, yeah, I like the smell of this. Once I'm in drag, it's hard to reapply. So we're gonna check back in on how this is doing. Maybe we won't check in, I don't know. If I smell bad later, I'll say something. If I don't, I love it. Now we're gonna get into skincare, which is super important when you're doing drag because heavy makeup like this can be super harsh on your skin. It can dry you out. So you need to make sure that you have a very hydrated, clean, fresh base. So we're gonna start with the Keys Soul Care Golden Cleanser by Alicia Keys. Um, I have used this product before. I use it all the time, actually, and I love it. I do, I really love it. Oh yeah, that smells so good. I think there's Manuka honey in this. I think. Oh, the leather's so nice. Oh, I feel like a new woman. Next, we're going to exfoliate using Jessica Alba's Honest Skin Sweep Exfoliating Powder Cleanser. Our second cover star, so woo 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 woo, Cosmo representation. Ooh, oh, that feels nice. It doesn't smell like anything. I definitely feel like it's exfoliating, but it's not rough. This is nice. Next, we're gonna use JLo's face mask by JLo Beauty. Already, we have another Cosmo cover girl. Three so far. It smells really nice too. Oh, it's two. It's two pieces. All right, I see you, JLo. Oh, it's really cool. I have big, goofy ears. There's no way these are gonna fit over my ear. Oh, okay, I spoke too soon. 
That's an inclusive ear hole. These are a little on the pricier side. And honestly, a drugstore mask would have ripped. This did not rip. That said, you know what? We care about your ear. Oh, all right. This burns a little bit, but like in a good way. You know what, it hurts so good. Stunning. Now we're going to dig into the Human Race Humidifying Cream by Pharrell Williams. He's the first male celebrity on our list. And honestly, that man is a vampire. So anything he tells me to do involving skincare, I'm gonna trust. Oh, this is really thick too, which I love. Let's get it on the neck. Skincare experts are gonna be like, that was applied improperly, but whatever. Now we have the Pro DNA Lift and Firm Eye Cream by Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton, shockingly, is I believe 40, 41, and looks Gorgina. If this is what she uses, I trust her. Not scented. And honestly, I already feel a little tingle. I already feel it going to work. Lifting and firming. I like it. It's getting better. I'm used to, mm, I like it now. I like it. I, I'm sorry, Gwyneth. I like it. Next, it's time for SPF. Super important. Don't forget to use it. We have a great SPF 35 by Venus Williams brand 11. This is her unrivaled sun serum, and it was actually tested by our beauty editors. We've touted this in the magazine, so I know it works. And she was a cover girl. Oh, uh, <laughs> fancy, fancy. This is expensive too. For an SPF, this is expensive. Okay. Oh, this has a nice smell to it. Again, up, up. I keep going down. Up, up. Thanks, Venus. And to wrap up our skincare, we're gonna use the Florence by Mills O Whale Lip Balm. This is a great thing to throw on before you start putting your makeup on, just because we're gonna be using a lot of powders, a lot of product. It's nice, it's lip balm. It's super cute, it's vegan, and it's by Millie Bobby Brown. So, good on you, girl. Okay, so we're finally gonna get into makeup, the fun stuff, but before we do, let me introduce you to some of the tools that I will be using. We have the Totally Plastic BH Cosmetics Hand Mirror by Iggy Azalea, another Cosmopolitan cover girl. I'm also going to be using her Stay Pressed Beauty Sponge. So I also have two smaller sponges by Item Beauty, which is owned by Addison Ray. I think they're so cute, so look out for these two. And then most importantly, probably, are the brushes. We have two sets here by Ariel. Ariel, obviously, we all know as Kylie Jenner's makeup artist. He did a collaboration with Morphe, and they sent two of his sets, so we have plenty to work with here. To start, Selena Gomez's Always an Optimist Pore Diffusing Primer by Rare Beauty. This is a line that she launched last year. I've heard really great things about it, so. That has a nice little, like, pearly, pearly finish to it. I've never seen a primer that isn't clear. Well, it went on clear. Did I say? Because Selena's another one of our cover girls. We got a lot of cover girls in this mix. For my foundation, I'm going to be diving into yet another Cosmopolitan cover girls products. You all know her, you all love her, Rihanna, Fenty Beauty, and I got three shades of her liquid foundation here. I also have a little concealer. I'm usually a cream-based girl. These are all liquid. So let's see how this goes. Let's start with the nice medium one. The coverage is actually better than I anticipated. Honestly, so far so good here. And I'm not mad at this color. I think I did a pretty okay job here. To be honest, it's a little on the thin side, but again, I think most of the people watching today would use her foundation for everyday wear. My hair is usually longer than this. I'm gonna do it anyway, just because I'm getting into my hairline. All right, let's try the lighter color now for to pop out some of our highlights. I'm gonna get my little item beauty. Yes, yes. And because they're both the same brand, they're blending together very nicely. And then we're gonna do some contour. I'm gonna grab my other little baby sponge. A little more orange than I would usually go, but we'll really pop that contour later with some powder. I will say this beauty sponge by Iggy Azalea is doing the trick. Like I, I love the way it's 
shaped. I love the way it feels. Now we're gonna go back in and pop the highlight one more time with the concealer. I'm not a huge fan of this applicator but it's doing the trick. Overall, I'm really impressed by Fenty Beauty's foundation. I think Rihanna turned out a great product. It was super buildable. At first, I was a little concerned about the coverage, but we got there. But now we have to set it in place using Kimchi, Kimchi Chic Beauty Puff Puff Pass Setting Powder. Set that foundation in place. Don't be afraid of it. Just go for it. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe away the excess, but what I'm seeing here is great. And this is where the baking happens. I'm gonna leave more powder on here than you'd think is necessary. And that's just gonna be to protect myself from fallout while I'm working on my eyes. That's the setting powder. So now that everything is set in place, I'm going to go ahead and outline where I want my eye shape and eyebrows to be. And for that, I will be using Halsey's about face matte fluid eye paint in the color white noise. This is a liquid eyeshadow, but I think it can be used for lots of different things. Okay, I have to say already, not a huge fan of this applicator. That's just the thing I have. So for this, I'm going to grab one of Ariel's brushes and pull the product off of that applicator. And I'm gonna get into blocking out the arch. It dries a little faster than the product I'm used to using, so I just have to work quicker. So overall, great coverage on this product. It's doing what I need it to do, which is give a white base for what is eventually going to be under my eyebrow and where I place all of my eyeshadow. Would recommend. Oh, and Halsey was another Cosmopolitan cover girl. This is my favorite part, eyes. We're gonna get into it. For this, I will be using Kesha Rose's palette with Hip Dot, another Cosmo girl. This isn't gonna be the only eyeshadow we use though. And I'm really drawn to the blues happening. You'll see my look later and why. This is super, this is super pigmented. It's laying really nicely over Halsey's eye paint. It's this has a really nice formula, I have to say, but the color is a little more purpley than I was anticipating. So I'm actually gonna dive into a Victoria Beckham pot. Um, this is her Lid Luster. It's a crystal infused eyeshadow and it is in the color Midnight. So that is gorgeous. Oh yeah, this is more the color that I thought Blow was gonna give me. And because that's a little dark, I'm gonna grab some of the TikTok back on Kesha's palette, and we're just gonna play around with these colors. And I also have this Onyx by Victoria Beckham, so I'm just gonna play around with these until we get something that I'm happy with. So I'm jumping all over the place, and I'm sorry, but I think we got to a good place with the eyeshadow. I just wanna take a second to really anchor everything with some eyeliners. Who better for eyeliners than Lady Gaga with House Labs? So I'm gonna start with her liquid eyeliner in the color Punk, I believe. Yeah, Punk. And we're gonna do my eyebrows. I don't use a brow pencil. I always use a liquid eyeliner because I love a thin 20s brow. All right, we're gonna fix her up in a second. I might fudge with them a little bit down the line, but we're in a good place. And this eyeliner is super smooth. I've heard great things. This is the first time I'm ever using it. And honestly, I understand why people are obsessed. Yes, yes, yes. All right, I need some time to concentrate, so give me a second and I will be right back with a little bit more of a finished eyeliner. And there we have it. Just so you know, once I was done filling in all of that black with the liquid eyeliner, I went in with two of the House Labs gel liners, one in white, one in black, and I did my waterline. I also introduced another celebrity product, and that is the Prince Urban Decay collaboration. I used the Kajal white eyeliner pencil to really pop out the corners of my eyes. Next, I wanna give a little shimmer in that white underneath my eyebrow. So I am super excited about this next product, which comes to us from yet another Cosmopolitan cover girl, Ariana Grande. She recently launched REM Beauty and they were gracious enough to send us her liquid eyeshadow in the color Lab Coat. So I have actually never opened this. I have never seen this. I have never used this. It's a brand new product. Look at this cute little pill bottle. Let's see how this works. So it has a nice, chunky, liquidy 
formula. Again, not a huge fan of these little applicators, but that's what fingers are for. Oh, it has a nice little shine. I don't know if you guys can see that. I can see it in my... I'm just gonna dab that along. They're saying we can't see it, but I promise you this is giving me shimmer and shine. I can see it up close, but I like it. It's a nice little touch. It's not super dramatic. So we're about to do lashes, but before we do that, I have to put some mascara on. And for that, I'm going to be using Drew Barrymore's Flower Beauty. It is the Warrior Princess Mascara in Royal Black. I don't know if this is waterproof or not, but I hope it is. Like, why would you not make waterproof mascara? People cry, I cry. I mean, mascara's mascara. Thank you, Drew Barrymore. Lashes. I'm gonna start with my bottom lashes and I'm gonna use these Tiffany Moon um, lashes. They were a collaboration with Daniela Bell. Tiffany Moon is a Real Housewives of Dallas cast member. There are two pairs in here. We're gonna go more demure. And to glue these lashes down, I will be using Becky G's Tres Luz Lash Glue. This is called the Extremo Lash Glue, which scares me a little bit. I don't wanna rip my skin off my face, but let's try it. All right. It's just your classic white glue. Oh, this like goes on blue. This has like a blue sheen to it. Ooh, I hope this dries clear. Becky, this better dry clear. That is straight up blue. I don't know if you guys can see that. Lash glue is blue. There we go. I think I'm gonna switch to the more dramatic. Let's go to the more dramatic lash. This is not giving me the drama. All right, so the lashes are on. The lower lashes look a lot better with the more dramatic pair. Great call on my behalf. When you're doing drag, just go bigger all the time. I did learn that the Extremo Lash Glue by Trace Luce that Becky G put out takes a second to become a little tackier and to like sit in place. So I'm gonna do my top lashes off camera as well. But just so you know what I'm about to use, it's these. They are these cute little cell phone packaged lashed cosmetics lashes by Black China. We have three pairs here. They are all super dramatic, which is great for drag. I always love to stack my lashes. I never wear just one pair. It's usually three to four pairs. So we have Sugar Baby, Sugar Daddy, and Preppy. I'm gonna stack these off camera, throw these babies on, and I will be right back. Voila! So I just stacked the three pairs of lashes, glued those to my face, and I'm starting to feel my fantasy. So the next step is powder contour, and I have a hack that a lot of people don't agree with, and that's using eyeshadow as the powder contour. I found the perfect palette to do this with. It is celebrity owned. I've been using it for a year now. I'm still a baby drag queen. And it is the Lunar Beauty Eternal Eclipse Palette by Manny Makeup Artist. This middle row right here is perfect for my, my complexion. I just go across that entire middle row, but I like to keep it more on the light end. Tap, tap, tap. And we are gonna cut this cheek. Ooh, ooh. Look at that strong contour. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. I think that using eyeshadow as a powder contour is okay if you have the right shade. Hello. I like to use a little bit of bronzer after I do my powder contour. And for that, we are going to use the Ivani Gregg Morphe Collaboration. This is her Baycation Luminizer in the shade Hawaii. I'm just gonna use the same brush that I used for my powder contour. It's a little shimmer in this too, which is nice. Now for one of my favorite parts, blush. And I've got the best brand for the job. This is Trixie Cosmetics by Trixie Mattel. Tried and true drag queen, best in the biz, one of the most famous girls to come out of Drag Race. This is her Summer of Love palette. I mean, look at that. Oh, look at the pink. Yes, yes. And this is the part where I am going to set my face with setting spray. For that, we have Nikita Dragon's Dragon Beauty Forever Fantasy Setting Spray. And to set that in place, I'm going to use the Fan by Nimia Cosmetics by Nikki Tutorials. Oh. Oh, that feels nice. Oh, it has two settings. It's really, 
Oh, it has three, it has three speeds, guys. Wow. Oh, I was ready to turn it off, but that is gorge. This also smelled really nice. I don't know what's in it, but it smells like flowers and a really expensive beauty salon and like gay. Like, I don't know if something can smell gay, but like, this is gay. I'm into it. Now that I'm set, it's time to put on some highlighter. And for that, we're going to be using the Jeffree Star Supreme Frost in the color Snow Globe. I really like Jeffree's highlighters because they are super chunky usually. Oh, this one's not, this one's a little bit more fine, but usually he has a really granular, chunky highlighter that I love. This still has a little bit more crystallization than a usual highlighter. I really love his formula. And this just makes me feel like a showgirl. And it marries really pretty with that blush. Ugh. Highlighter, oh, I love it. So we have the lashes on, we have the highlighter on, now we're gonna put the lips on. For me, the drag really comes together with the lashes and the lips, and who better to feature for lips than Miss Kylie Jenner, the Lip Kit Queen. And here we have a Kylie Cosmetics lip kit in the color Mary Jo K, named after her grandmother, which I think is so cute. Truly, this is, this is an iconic product. And another Cosmo cover girl. I know that there was a lot of hype around this and a lot of people weren't sure like if they should buy into it, but I think that these are worth it. I think the perfect match between the liner and the liquid lip is unparalleled, it's unmatched. It wasn't something we really saw prior. And the formula is gorgeous, long lasting, matte. What more can you ask for? So the lips are in place, but I think they need a little extra more. I wanna use glitter. And for that, we have another trusty drag queen, Miss Fame. Her brand, Fame Beauty, launched this super cute luxury lip kit. And in it, there is a lipstick and a cute little glitter moment. So we're gonna pack that on for a super glam moment and then pack that glitter on. Oh, already, already, look how gorgeous. But it's also like the perfect brunch lip, you know? I love how fine this glitter is too. It's not super chunky. Well, that's it for my face. I'm gonna pop on my wig and I'll be right back. And here we have it guys, the finished product, nearly. So off camera, I actually used the Patterned Beauty by Tracy Ellis Ross hairpins to stick my wig in place, make sure it was firm. And I had a fun follow-up use of the Nimya fan when I was gluing my wig down. This thing is one of my new favorite products. So good on you, Nikki Tutorials. And the final step in this drag fantasy is of course, fragrance. And who other than the queen mother, Mariah Carey. And you know what, guys? She was a Cosmo cover girl too. Probably one of the greatest. No shade to the others, but I had a lot of fun with her on set. Like any good drag queen, I'm just gonna spritz this all up in my hair. <laughs> Whew, I got that in my mouth. This smells very rich. This smells very womanly. And there we have it. I'm pretty happy with the final outcome. What do you guys think? But I know that some of you watching were like, there's no way she's gonna pull this together. But pull it together, I did. We ended up using a total of 51 products by 39 different celebrities. The fact that there are that many celebrity owned beauty brands out there, whew, that blows my mind. So I know I said that I used 51 products, but I actually have three left. There are three products used to really remove everything that I've got going on here. And those three products are the One Size Beauty by Patrick Star Go Off Makeup Dissolving Mist, which I'm gonna follow up with the One Size Go Off Juiciest Makeup Remover Wipes. And then when I'm all said and done, I'm going to finish everything off with Eva Gutowski's Coastal Citizen Morning Water. This is apparently super easy to use. You just throw it on one of her terry towels and you go. There's not even any need for water. This is the water. So while you watch me remove my makeup over there and hyperlapse, think about starting this video over and following along. We only use just over $1,500 worth of products. Who needs to pay rent this month? Not me. 